Okay, guys, here we are back on Target. <clears throat> As promised, my husband did um, measure those pieces. And here you're going to see where I had told you in a previous video this whole thing had fallen. Um, and I did sub sustain a little bit of damage. This is the gluing jig I got. And there you can see I'm repairing one of the windows that was broken during the fall. Not a big deal. So moving forward, um, I'll try to get this video posted October 28th. If not, it will be um, Thursday, October 29th. So um, here we are. Now I'm going to work on the towers tonight. I'm going to finish gluing the pieces together permanently. And I wanted to do this in real time so that you can see as we go how we do it. So right now I'm just waiting for this window to dry. I am going to go ahead and attach the other two windows and set this piece aside because this, this piece has not been measured yet. And I think I can wing it only because the um, part A that connects to this piece he did measure for me, so um, he uh, is good at that. He's been doing it for, ooh, what did he say, 40 years, 45 years? And uh, so here we are. I'm going to keep working. I'm um, going to set this aside. And I'm going to insert this piece here. Hopefully this will just slip right in and I don't have too much trouble with it. This piece may need to come down. There we go. That piece might need to come down some. See, it's kind of a pain in the neck to get these back in there where they're supposed to go without totally messing them up. <clears throat> There's that one. Okay, so now that should close in. Yes. So as soon as that other piece is done, then we'll put this last piece and then that last window in there. Meanwhile, we're going to move on to and I'm just going to grab a random piece here. Um, the windows are still a little bit loose and he did measure from the bottom here, so we have to we have to put these in with these where they're at so they're not moved. And so I'm just going to lay this down and it should work from this end but I can't so hopefully I can tilt this down where you can see. Yeah. So I'm just going to run a, you really can't see this, but I can't move it any closer. Just going to run a bead of glue along these edges so that grabs hold. And as I get closer, you'll see what I mean. It's basically caulking them. And you'll see right here, there's a piece to this window missing. So hopefully I can just slide it in. We're going to find out. Oh, and of course, all my window pieces are put away. Maybe there's one in here. Ah. There is one in here. Alright, so I'm going to glue this edge right here. And run that bead of glue down. Like I said, hopefully, I can just kind of lift that up without too much damage here. And then I think, guys, we're going to be ready to actually put this puppy together. Oops, that's backwards. Good thing I noticed now. Okay, and then this one. 
hopefully I can just kind of, maybe not, mm -mm. darn it, hopefully I can maneuver that in there, yikes, I knew that was going to be a problem. I could just get this one to go on there because I really didn't want to have to take this whole thing apart. Perfect. Now if I can just finagle it. Sometimes you can... I really do not feel good about this. Hmm. I wonder what the hold up here is. There's that. Okay. Well, let's see how we do here. Oh, look at that. Wonderful. And that did not move. Nope, that didn't move. We're good to go there. Okay, so... Here, I'm just going to kind of fill that in. Hopefully you guys can see. I'm just going to kind of fill that in with glue. And I feel like this is going to be three long, well, one little, one video for each section. I apologize. Okay, that looks like a lot of glue, but... We'll push that down in and run it along there and push it in. And I'm not worried about this because we're going to paint that. I'm not worried about that because that's going to paint. I'm not worried about any of the glue touching any of those parts because it's going to be painted. But I was worried about everything fitting good. Sorry about a nice view of my wrist, but taking that tape off. Okay, so now we're. I'm going to continue to do that per piece. And once I get those all three glued, I'll come back and we'll do the tying up of the pieces. But you said most importantly, guys, I didn't want you to think that we had abandoned ship on the 550. I really, really want to get it done. Seeing what I think I need to do. Well, we're okay. Um, you may want to, if you're doing this build, fill in that gap with, with, um, a corrected one of these. And I don't know if that's the problem or not. Let's see. No, that wasn't it. So I'm not going to worry about it because up here, this section, this section is off but once we get close enough to putting this all together I'm going to fill this in I'm going to fill in these gaps with um, paper mache um, I don't want to say paper mache but like it really is newspaper and glue and I'm just going to fill over that so that there's no gap and I'll attach it to the tower above somehow or I might just get some foam or caulking and fill that in. Not sure, but it really isn't going to matter because there's going to be a tower over it and you're not going to see it. It's just bugging me right now. So, again, I'm going to go through, I'm going to glue all of these pieces and I'm going to let them dry. And then um, we'll set up the sidewalls and we'll get those going. So just letting the glue dry, guys, and I'll be back. So again, please like and subscribe. Make sure if you have any comments, either, you know, comments, advice, if you've done this before, or advice, um, hey, you shouldn't be doing it that way, please let me know. Um, thank you. I have 18 subscribers now, and I can't tell you um, how excited I am. So to each and every one of you that has subscribed to my channel, my absolute utmost thank you thank you thank you um 
keep watching. We are going to get this done. We're going to get the building together. Um, and again, like I said, I'm going to go through and I think that I'm going to just do newspaper and glue over all of this and then probably paint it. That way it gives it kind of a hard surface and gives it more stability. Okay, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.